What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough. Okay, so here we are in Seven Island, the very end of it, and uh, we took a little bit of a break because the last episode was like about 30 minutes long, yeah. Killed up our Pokemon, did everything, and now we're going to be battling these two trainers right here. I think I've explained the story about how I trained up my Pokemon, you know, grinding and all that stuff. And it's these two guys. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna battle them, go to the Tenobi for Tenobi ruins, and then after that, just uh, we'll see where it takes us because we're at the very end of this whole walk right here, which is awesome, very very awesome. So let's go ahead and take on her. I was given the best possible education to become this strong. I don't want to lose to anyone. Well, I'm sorry, baby, but you're gonna lose to me. Just watch. Here we go, cool trainer Michelle, and as you can see, she has five Pokemon. That's all you need to do, guys. Battle these two Pokemon trainers. And the more you train, or the more you battle against them, guys, the stronger they'll become. I think they have a, a they have a li like a limit afterwards. I think level 55 tops, something like that. But their Pokemon, some of their Pokemon will evolve. Some of them will just be, you know, whatever. But these guys are the perfect people to actually take on if you guys want to grind to get to level 70 or appropriate level before the next Pokemon League challenge. And here we go again with another rollout. Let's go, Tank. Finish him. Look at that. Tank Destroyer. That's right. The Tank Destroyer right here. Sir Razor kicking ass. And, uh, well, he's coming out with... Or she's coming out with a Dugong. So I'm just gonna continue on right here and just... Oh, crud. Continue on with my rollout attack until it finally ends right here. Or until I miss. And that was a critical hit. Here we go again. Look at that. It's become bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh uh, yes, rollout can be the one of the most strongest moves if it doesn't miss or anything. And here we go again, Nine Tails. Probably gonna hit me first. All right, Nine Tails, using its flamethrower attack, trying to stop me. Yeah, look at that. And here we go again. And wow, that was super powerful. Look at that. Nine Tails had no chance. And look at that. Tank grows to level 63, and uh, Sir Razor grows to level 38. There he goes, coming out with a Rapidash. Oh, I'm just going to stay put right here. I don't think... Yeah, I think we just... Uh, yeah, we just finished up on... Uh, oh, damn. We just finished up on the rollout, and we're going to miss right here. So what we're going to do is... Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go to Thrasher. Big, big, big defense. Super defensive and all that stuff. And there's that bounce. Might get paralyzed. Yes, we do. And, uh, well, that Rapidash gets poisoned. See? That's what happens when you try and poison or paralyze me. Yeah, buddy. Eat that paralysis. So here we go. Earthquake. And bam. So you see what I mean, guys? These guys, or these Pokemon trainers do have uh, fully, well, most of their Pokemon are fully evolved, which is great. Well, which is great training for all of us right here. So, let's see. Okay, yeah, let's go. Right here. There we go. And, of course, you're going to be bouncing, you a-hole you. Hmm. Do I have a... Is, is there a move that can actually... Like, do I have a move that can actually hit it? Maybe? I don't know. Does Thunder work? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to look to see if I do have a... Nope, don't have it. So, let's just go right ahead and use Earthquake. We missed! And here we go again. Another bounce attack, and we're going to be paralyzed always. God dang it. Alright, getting poisoned. Hurt. Earthquake. Take down. Come on. Come on! There we go. Yeah, buddy. And that's how you do it, guys. Rapidash getting his butt kicked right there. Nice. Okay, so who is next? Giraffe Rig. You can actually capture this Pokemon here, too. Uh, I'm going to use Godzilla just to, you know, destroy everybody right here. Alrighty. So here we go. Giraffe Rig go. Here we go. Dragon Claw. Now, I'm still trying to figure out what team should I use for the Elite Four battle. I kind of want to use a whole new team. That might exclude Godzilla right here. I'm trying to figure it out right now. But eventually I will. And, you know, it'll be a nice team right there. Hope you guys will be happy and all that stuff. Or, you know what? I might use Godzilla just because. 
He's one of my favorite Pokemon and all that stuff too. So, uh, that happened. So, I'm going to go kill all my Pokemon right here. And, uh... There we go. We, we just need to do this goofy dance. That's pretty much what we have to do. Okay, so go ahead, dance, dance. Dance, monkey, dance! There we go. Look at that. He's dancing. And bam. Yes, we're nice and healed up. We're all chipper, like he likes to say. And uh, let's see, if I remember correctly, Homie here usually starts off with a ride on, so I'm going to switch it up to Polyswag. And uh, let's go right ahead and battle this guy right here. You look strong. Let me battle you, please. Oh, well. All right, let's go ahead. Okay, so here we go, another cool trainer. And he will be coming out with his ride on, like I said. Yeah, I, I, I said it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, here we go, Surf Attack. All these Pokemon are pretty awesome. Yeah, buddy. Glue, 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 glue. There we go. Take that Surf Attack, it's awesome. And, uh, well, let's see, Sir Razor. And he's going to be coming out with a slow bro, so let's go ahead and use Aaliyah. Aaliyah, the wonder, uh, the wonder Pikachu right here. And uh, oh, slow bro is looking all mean and everything. Thunder attack. Of course, he's going to have to miss. <laughs> and uh, yeah, why not? Why not disable my thunder attack, you asshole you? So here we go, slow bro, eat this thunderbolt. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Thunder usually does it. <laughs> okay, it's Sir Razor nearly growing to level 40. So here we go. He's coming out with an Earth Ring. Let's go straight to Polyswag right here. Okay. Let's get this. Polyswag, you know what to do. Finish him. Here we go. Submission attack. Alrighty. And this Earth Ring is down for the count. Yeah, buddy. And that's how you do it, guys. That is how you do it. And uh, let's see, Sir Razor getting experience points. And he's going to be coming out with a Kangaskhan, so let's just stay put right here. Alrighty. Here we go. Submission again. Alrighty. Look at that. And uh, yeah, well, recoil. You got to love that recoil right there. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Okay, so here we go, Machoke. Let's go right ahead and uh, switch out to our good old buddy, Godzilla. See what happens right here. Godzilla, get ready to destroy. Alrighty, Machoke. Bring it on with a fly attack. Okay, alrighty. Fly attack. Does it do it? Can it do it? Fly attack for the win. Yeah, buddy. And that's how you do it, Gary. Okay, so... Yeah, well, just like that, we battled these, these guys, and, uh, well, pretty much, uh, you know, not much to say right here, this is the perfect place to train, guys. Battle them as many times as you want. Now, here we are at the very end of, uh, the Seval Canyon, going into the Ten Tonobi Ruins, and, uh, all you need is a Pokemon to know, sir. We will be finding some, uh, some newer Pokemon right here. If you remember, we... What was it? We solved the puzzle right here. We enabled the, uh, we enabled for the unknown to actually fall, to to wake up. So we're gonna be visiting every single tunnel right here. And of course, there goes my uh, what you call it? Uh, there goes my uh, my repel and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and uh, let's start from the very end all the way to the other very end right here. So we got two chambers right here, and uh, let's see. Could be something right here. So here we are in the Viopois, Viopois chamber. Wow, I really suck at uh, pronunciation and stuff. All right, let me get this handbook right here. I'm back. I'm back, baby. Okay, so the handbook. The good old handbook. Not because I, I, I don't know what's over here. It's just I kind of want to kind of want to know what the Tenobi ruins have. So here's what's going on right now, guys. We're in the Tenobi ruins. And there are, what, one, two, three, four, there are seven in total, and all seven have a different kind of uh, unknown. Of course, we are in the Viapois, uh, Vapois chamber, and it actually contains one type of unknown, and that is Z. So, we're going to, yeah, we're going to just walk around and uh, take a look at nothing. Yeah, this, this, this is absolutely nothing. So, we're just going to waste our repel right here. 
And uh, look for that uh, unknown Z. And that's the only Pokemon you can actually find right here. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, damn. Okay, come on. Where are you, you little slut? And if you if you guys are tempted of capturing all these uh all these Pokemon right here, by all means, go right ahead. And here it is, guys. Unknown Z. Look at that, level 25. And just like all the unknowns right here, they will be using Hidden Power. That's the only move they have. So let's go with that Ultra Ball. See if we can capture this guy. There we go. Nope, we cannot capture this guy. And here comes that Hidden Power. Please do not. Oh, wow, that was super effective. It must be a Grass or Electric type move right there. So I'm not going to mess with this guy right here. So let's go right ahead and go to the Rixie Chamber. I want to say it's the Rixie Chamber. I don't even know. Okay, let's see. Hidden item? Nope. Alrighty, so here's a Rixie chamber. And this chamber will have unknowns B, M, B, W, and X. And, uh, well, let's see who we, who we find first right here. Unknown? There you are! Alright, let's see. We got W. It's unknown W. Okay, so... Let's see, Ultra Ball for the win. Now, I never captured every single unknown before. Oh, nearly captured this guy. And here's uh, its hidden power. Yeah, I've never captured all the unknowns. And I think by Generation 3, I could be wrong, or Generation 4, they added two more unknowns, which is exclamation, park and, exclamation mark and question mark. But I believe like in Generation 1, I well... Originally, I thought that Generation One would actually would actually have something special if you caught all the unknowns. I mean, you do get the uh, unknown uh, the unknown decks, but found out that that wasn't the case right there. That you just capture all the unknowns. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I believe in Generation Four, which is in Pokemon Platinum, and I'm just realizing this right now. Uh, if you do capture all the unknowns in Pokemon Platinum, it will actually lead you to an extra chamber near, I uh, would have to say, where was that place that breeds Pokemon? I don't remember. Could be wrong. Comment down below, yes. And, uh, I don't know if, they, I don't know if they, they've actually progressed with that on Generations 5 through and, and on, so, you know. Comment down below on your little, uh, your little unknown uh, explorations and all that stuff right there, too, guys. And look at that, Onyx defeated. Easily. Very, very easily. And Brandon has been defeated. That was uncalled for. You didn't have to go so rough. What the heck? You're the one that challenged me, man. Oh, man. Okay, so let's see. What chamber is this? The Scoofib. The Scoofib chamber. And in the Scoofib chamber, you will be able to find unknowns F, G, K, T, Y. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and figure... Let's go ahead and find them. Find something. And this is Unknown Y. Okay. Alright, Unknown Y. See, you're looking like a Y. So let's go ahead and throw a uh, Ultra Ball right here. Come on. Stand a ball. Stand a goddamn ball. Come on. Yeah. I'm throwing out the peace sign, guys. I am throwing out the peace sign. Okay, so here we go. Unknown. Their shapes look like hieroglyphics on ancient tablets. It is said that two are somehow related. The two are somehow related. That's cool. And it's a Pokemon. And yes, I will nickname it. I like to keep uh, tabs on what I captured. So, unknown. Uh, let's see. That. 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 And... And then why? So that way I know what kind of Pokemon I actually did capture. So that right there is what happens. And uh, well, we've already battled this guy. So let's go into the next chamber right here. And uh, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. This right here is I don't know. This is the Dilford chamber. Again, I'm bringing back the uh, the 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 what you call it. And uh, let's see. Oh, shoot. So it would seem that there are hidden items. Oh, no. I, I could be wrong. There's no hidden items right here. So this is the Dilford Chamber. And this chamber actually has unknown J, L, P, 
QR. So that's exactly what I'm going to try and find. And here we have Unknown P. Okay. Want to see if I can actually capture it again? With one uh, one turn? Here we go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the goddamn... Oh, goddammit. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so that, that, that did not work. Let's get out of here. Okay, so let's just get the heck out of here. And let's just move on right here. Go on, going on to the next chamber right here. So, let's see. Going right here. What do we have? Oh, no, wait. That's the entrance. And here we're going to actually find nothing. Except for a few trainers. So, who doesn't want a Pokemon battle? Clifford is teaching me how to paint. It's teaching you how to paint. That's cool. Okay, so here we go. Painter Edna would like to battle. And, well, she'll be coming out with her... Or Smeargle. They all have Smeargle. So, we all know what to do. Submission attack. And, of course, there's that fake out attack. Smeargle, of course, it does learn... The move... The only more... Or the only move that it can learn is, I would have to say, what? Paint or Trace or something like that? Similar to what it, what it's supposed to be and all that. And, uh... It learns it every... I think it learns it every single turn or every single... I think every single level or something like that. But with that, it learns the move that it got hit with before. So you could have like a Smeargle getting hit with a hyper push or hyper, uh, like a hyper beam and all that stuff, and then use Trace and then bam, hyper beam. It has it. And uh, well, let's talk to good old Clifford right here. Today, in addition to our, our ch lesson, we came to see this chamber. Okay, bring it on. Alrighty, so here we go. Gentleman Clifford would like to battle. Coming with his Marowak. And uh, let's go with a Surf Attack right here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and there goes Marowak. Been defeated just like that. Oh, yes. And look at that. Sir Razor finally grows to level 40. And he'll be coming out with a uh, Golduck. So let's go with Aaliyah right here and just destroy everybody. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's go with a thunder attack. And god dang it, it always misses on the first turn. Ugh. Uh, this is annoying. Okay, so here we go. Thunder for the win. Yeah, buddy. Look at that, look at that. Gold oh, Golduck has been defeated right there. Okay. And there goes... Yeah, there, there goes Clifford. You're not so happy right now. Okay, so let's go inside this chamber right here. And again, I'm still thinking that there's like a hidden item right here. So here we have the Web Chamber. The Web Chamber. And uh, this chamber right here holds unknowns E, I, N, and S. So E, I, N, S. Probably should have said it that way. So let's see which unknown we find first. Let's see right here. There we go. We are looking for the unknown. And here we have unknown N. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's get this. Ultra Ball. Alrighty. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. Stay in the fucking ball. And we got it. So that's two unknowns right there. I'm not saying that I might capture... Oh, crud. Yeah, I didn't nickname it. God, you know, Trigger Happy. Trigger Happy. You gotta love that. Okay, so let's move on to the next few chambers right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Here we have a nice looking one right here. Right here. Nothing. And, uh, let's see. What do we got? This right here is the Lip 2 chamber. Alright. Reading this up right here. What do we got? Uh, Lip 2 chamber contains unknown C, D, H, O, U. Okay. Let's go ahead and find one of our favorite Pokemon right here. Hopefully it's something. And here we have a, a no no. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell is this? No, it's. I think it's unknown H. It could be wrong, I don't even know. You gotta love this unknown hunting right here, guys. So here we go. Ultra Ball, come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the friggin' ball. Stay in the goddamn ball. Stay in the ball. Yes. There we go. So that's our third unknown, and I. Don't want to nickname him because I might get it wrong. 
I may get it wrong. So let's go to the final chamber right here. It's an even bigger one right now. So let's go right here. Surf, poly swag. And, uh, well, as you can see, it is huge. It is big. It is Humunga Dunga. If you guys remember from Pokemon, the animated series. And we got some guy here waiting for us. A mystic Pokemon is said to sleep inside here. Probably is. Probably. Probably is. So here we go. Going up against Ruin Maniac Benjamin. Coming with a Geodude. Okay. Let's go, Polyswag. Surf Attack. Alrighty. Surf Attack does that for the win. Suck it, Geodude. Alrighty. And, uh, okay. So there we go. Level 62. Finally. And, uh, let's see, who's next? Sir Razor, and, uh, he's gonna be coming out with the Graveler, so he might be, he might be coming out with a Geodude evolutional, uh, evolutionary line right here. So let's go, Surf Attack. Yeah, buddy. There we go, Graveler, defeated. And, uh, well, let's see. No, no, he's coming out with a Graveler again. Don't know if he evolves all these guys right here, so let's go. Surf attack again for the win. Yes, sir. That's how you do it. All right, you guys. You guys gotta love this. The battles right here. So Benjamin's been defeated. Not much good at battle, but okay. He's a very good archaeologist and all that stuff. Now, in this chamber, Monian chamber, you'll be able to find uh, unknown A and I believe question mark. Hold on. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's see if, or exclamation point. I don't know. I, I probably misread it. Dyslexia, you gotta love it. And here we have Unknown A. Alrighty, now, again, guys, comment down below. Let me know if, uh, if something special happens if you capture all the unknown right here. Like, maybe another legendary Pokemon that I haven't heard of, or haven't heard that it was in here. I don't know. But there it is, guys. We caught ourselves our fourth unknown. Is always awesome right here too. So let's give him a nickname. We already know who he is. So here we go. Unknown. Unknown. One, two, three. Let's see. And there we go. Hey, there we go. Unknown A has been detected right here. So that makes it. Well, that's pretty much it right here for the uh, for the ruins. And uh, yeah. So. Yeah, that makes it, well, that, that's pretty much it for these Sevy Islands right here, too, guys. So, in the next few episodes, we will be capturing legendary Pokemon. We will be doing some breeding off-screen and all that stuff. Uh, a lot of stuff, guys. We're going to be doing lots and lots and lots of stuff. So, you're going to be surprised at what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I think the capturing of uh, whatever legendary Pokemon I'm supposed to find is going to be in the next episode but it's going to be all speed button and stuff because it's going to take a while so stay tuned guys i'll be back for another episode of pokemon leaf green see you guys <laughs>